Well, hey guys, I'm gonna be working on this gate on this six foot privacy fence. It's got a lot of play, it drags on the ground. These hinges, uh, <laughs> I'll show you, put on with nails instead of screws and they're just not installed correctly. So what I'm gonna do on this project is, first off, I need to take it down. It's put together with nails. So hopefully with a crowbar and a hammer, I can get it taken apart without tearing, without tearing up the pickets and the wood because I'd like to try to reuse those. I did buy some new treated boards to build the new gate out of. I didn't use cedar, I just bought treated two by fours because you can't see them from the front of the house. I'm gonna customize these hinges to a set of hinges I, I found online on a video. I'll try to find the video and put a link below because the guy did a great job designing some hinges that you can buy if you don't have access to a welder. I'm a novice welder, so I've got maybe enough skill to fabricate those hinges and uh, show you guys how I'm gonna do it. But if you don't have access to that and you like these hinges, you can buy yourself a set of hinges. He deserves credit because they're a great design and I'm gonna try to mimic it with, with these hinges. These are just your regular old strap gate hinges and uh, we'll show you how that goes. So let me bring the camera up, I'll show you some close-ups. See how they've got a nail on there. <laughs> just holding that hinge on. The whole fence and gate is nailed together, which I prefer screws. They probably paid somebody or just had a nail gun or something. You can see those nails are backing out. There's no, there's no cross member to keep it from sagging. And it's just really a poorly put together gate. Let me show you around the front. can see down there on the bottom it's coming apart where the nails are pulled out probably from the gate sagging and weather and all kinds of reasons but one nail and a couple screws holding that hinge in there so I got to take off these first out two outside pickets and then take the gate off and tear it apart so that's what I'm going to do next
All right, guys, we're in the shop and I'm working on these hinges. These are the hinges that I got off of the fence and they're not the same. This one is a spring hinge, spring loaded, designed to help open the gate. But unfortunately in my case, since I'm trying to reuse these or repurpose them, that spring loaded part is against it's going to be trying to uh, close my gate. Actually, it's going to, it's originally designed to close the gate. Mine's going to be trying to open the gate. Anyway, I'm going to still try to work with it and make it work. I've cleaned off with a flap disc some areas that I want to do some welding. But let me show you on this standard hinge. This is just a regular hinge with no spring in it. And, uh, how this is actually going to work. So I've fabricated a bunch of brackets. This is both 1 8 inch steel. This one's an inch and a half. Just a strap that I bent into this U shape. And then these I put an L on them. This is just some leftover stuff I had laying around. And I figured I'd try it. Since this is all an experiment, I'm going to see if I can make this work. So I can use it up on this project. I am going to be building another gate, a, m a little bigger gate. Depending upon how this one goes, I'll have my uh, plan put together for it. But this is only a four foot gate, so it's not going to need a huge amount of strength. And I actually think that this 1 8 inch is overkill. If I could have found a 16 inch piece of metal, it would have been a lot easier to bend. And uh, I think it would work better in this case. What I had to do to bend this, since I have a small vise, I had to take my uh, bandsaw, portable bandsaw, and cut about halfway through it, and then bend it. And what I've done is I've run a, I've run a weld bead up here in the corner, if I can get it up here to show it to you. Anyway, just to reinforce where I cut it. That's just because my vise is so small, I, I had a hard time getting this bent. So what's going to happen is when I put that on my uh, 2x4, this board represents the cross piece on the fence. See how there's a gap here? I'm going to have to round the corners of the cross piece just enough to where I can slide this on there as far as I can get it. But anyway, that's not a big deal. And then these will lag bolt to the 2x4. There'll be four lag bolts. One, two on the top and two on the bottom. And then the hinge is going to actually be welded to this bracket. Like that. And then on the other side of the hinge, it's going to have these two for another bracket to hook to the board that makes the gate. Same thing, two lag bolts on top and two on the bottom. And then your hinge will open like this as the gate opens like that. So anyway, I'm going to try to get these uh, clamped up and set up so that I can go ahead and attempt to weld these brackets onto my, onto my hinges and we'll see how that goes. The welds on this uh, bracket when I cut that and then welded it back up went okay. I'm using my uh, 110 powered Harbor Freight flux core welder that I modified. If you want to check that out you can look at the videos. I have a whole series on modifying that welder but that's what I'm going to use to weld this up. So let me get this all set up and done up and then uh, I'll get this welded up and we'll see what it looks like.
So I'm going to wipe these down with acetone and then get them painted up. But this is how they'll be. So you'll have a 2x4 fit in each side. This one's for the fence or the gate and then vice versa over here. With those four lag screws in each one and then this is how your hinge works. So it'll open and close. This sticks out a little bit because you'll have your front board screwed on there and you want this just barely outside the the front face of the gate or the uh, of the fence. Anyway, I'll show you that when I get ready to put them on there, but I'm going to get them painted up and uh, and then we'll install them. Well, here's my finished gate project. Well, 99%. Still got to find a coat hanger to make a latch pull. But it came out real nice. I want to show you guys kind of some close-ups on this hinges so you can see how they're put on there. And they work really well. Here's a look at the bottom one. These are inch and a half lag bolts that are hot dipped galvanized. Then I got a two by four on the inside of the gate to keep it from pushing inward. See, I got a hole drilled here, but I need to make a uh, piece of wire to connect to that latch so I can pull it from the inside. Well, I don't use this gate very often. I just want it to, to be a solid gate. And there's a look from the front view. You can barely even tell there's a gate. That's why I wanted these hidden, I call them hidden hinges. So you really can't see the hinges from the road unless you're really looking, but there's a look at the lower one. Just the hinge pin itself is the only thing that pokes through the gate. And then of course the latch mechanism, but that's fine. I did have to cut about a half inch off the bottom of the gate. I reused the old pickets and uh, they were just a little bit too long. Whoever had done this before had scraped all the gravel out from underneath the fence <laughs> so that the gate would work, but I want it to work with the gravel where it needs to be so I don't have a muddy spot there. And it fits pretty tight. With the gate open you can get a little bit better look at the, the hinges and how they connect. And the bottom one. You can see those straps. The inch and a half fits perfectly on a 2x4. The one inch were just a little bit skinnier, but they'll work just fine. Just wanted to use up that metal. And the gate will swing all the way out until it's up against the fence. So you have the full gate opening to use with the exception of this backer board I put on this side just to keep the gate from pushing through. I'm thinking these treated boards that I used were pretty wet when I put screws in there was a bunch of water coming out or, or the uh, treated mixture, whatever it was. I figure after they'll dry out a little bit, it'll probably shrink slightly and probably fit just right. Was, that's my hope anyway. Down the road, I gotta build another gate on the other side of the house. I'm gonna use the same concept, only I won't have any hinges to reuse because there's no gate there right now. I'm just gonna go buy some hinges. I'll probably make a video showing you how I do that. Hopefully they'll be a little bit easier to weld up than these were. These were a little bit experimental for me but it came out okay if you like the video guys give me a thumbs up don't forget to share it on your favorite social media if you like it and uh, if you're new 
consider subscribing to the channel. I do all kinds of projects like this around the house, around the homestead. So until the next one, we'll uh, see you later. Hope you're all well out there and take care.